there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little bit of DIYing with me today? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, today I am bringing to you not one, not two, but five Dollar Tree centerpiece DIYs that are so quick, easy, and budget friendly. And let me just tell you, these holiday centerpieces pack a punch. A couple of them are interchangeable, so you can use them for every season or holiday if you want. I can't wait to show you what I've got in store for you for today. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quit my yabbin, let's jump into it, and let's do some holiday DIYing on a budget. Cause that's what we do here. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. For this first DIY, we're gonna start off with this round wood DIY plaque by Crafter Square. It's got these pesky holes. We're gonna take some spackling. This is not a Dollar Tree spackling because Dollar Tree hasn't had it lately. But you can find this at Walmart and this one's cool because it goes from pink to purple when it's dry. You're also gonna wanna pick up this three pack of wood dice using some wood glue by Super Glue. You can find this in the tool section. I'm gonna glue these to one side of the plaque. This is really gonna be the bottom of this plaque and these are going to be the feet of this stand, this DIY wood stand that's gonna be a centerpiece, yes. I'm gonna go the route of staining this and I am staining it using some of Waverly's Antique Wax. Now I know that this is not a stain, that it is a wax, but when you apply it to a wood finish, it really does act like a stain and it's got this beautiful rich espresso brown color that I love that just kind of adds to that rustic feel that I like to add to my DIYs. I'm gonna say that someone got really smart when they decided that white styrofoam pumpkins were a must instead of the neon orange and the black. What I love about these pumpkins is they are hollow and so if you really wanted to carve them you could Although it looks like that's what I'm doing right now, I'm really not. I'm just simply going to carve out the top of this to remove the stem itself because I'm gonna make this a planter, a pumpkin planter for our soon to be centerpiece that's gonna be on that wood tray. Oh, just wait for it. This is such a fun, versatile piece that can really be done to suit any season of the year because it's interchangeable. This pumpkin, it's gonna get a good couple coats of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of cashew. I did add a bit of detailing to the ribs of the pumpkin because I feel like it adds dimension. I didn't record it, but I will show you that using some of Tim Holtz Distress Ink in the color of Walnut Stain and a stiffer paintbrush, I'm showing you on an orange pumpkin that is later on in this video how you can easily just take and run that stiffer paintbrush with the ink on it along, I guess, the areas where the ribs of the pumpkin are. And in turn, it's really gonna make, I guess, the ribs of the pumpkin stand out a bit more and really give this pumpkin more dimension. And I feel like it's fine details like this that really make a DIY. I thought these pink fall floral picks that Dollar Tree has been carrying would be the perfect addition to the inside of my pumpkin planter. I'm also gonna add a simple candle to this wood tray. I wanted to make it a decorative piece. This is not a candle that I'm gonna burn. So I feel safe adding some raffia to the top of it. Fall is the perfect time to incorporate raffia into your DIYs. And so I picked up this dark brown one this aluminum leaf that I have here came off of a pumpkin plaque. When you, I guess, repurpose a plaque that has embellishments like this leaf, I say always keep it, put it in your stash because you may be able to incorporate it into a DIY such as this one. And so just by adding a raffia bow to this leaf and attaching this leaf to the candle, look at what a fun piece this is to add to our, yes, wood tray. That's what I'll call it, a wood tray. 
Ah yes, it's that time, my favorite part of every DIY where I get to put all my pieces together and actually see how my DIY has come together. And so to my wood stand, wood tray, what did I call it? We're gonna call it a wood stand right now. I'm gonna add my pumpkin. This ceramic house was something that I had in my stash that you can find pretty regularly at Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna add that adorable candle, the decorative candle, and why not? I'm gonna add some of those leather pumpkins that I found in three different colors to finish this stand off. I feel like it's really important when you do a stand like this to add different heights because it's gonna add dimension and character to your stand, to your table centerpiece. Quick, easy, and budget-friendly is the name of this table centerpiece or accent piece you choose. We're gonna switch gears for this DIY. Have you seen these candle holders at Dollar Tree? Not quite my style, but we're gonna change that because I'm gonna turn these from bleak to chic. These candle holders hold these taller candles or these three wick candles that you can get from Bath and Body Works or really anywhere. I want this to be something wintery fun. So to these, I'm gonna just give them a quick coating with some ultra matte white spray paint. And I'm doing that because I feel like it's just gonna be a lot easier to paint these. You're gonna get full coverage and you're not gonna get brush strokes. Look at how easy that was. Now taking some of my homemade Mod Podge, super easy to do. I'm gonna give these leaves a nice good coating of Mod Podge because what am I gonna do to these leaves? Oh, wait for it. I'm gonna sprinkle them with a bit of extra fine glitter. This is a white opal essence glitter. Dollar Tree has a fantastic selection of glitters that come in a multicolored pack that you can choose from. Again, this is one that I had in my stash. I think you can find this one at Michael's, but look at how pretty that is. Now, I'm not a glitter girl, but I sacrificed it for the greater good because the outcome is amazing. Now taking some of this green vine, Christmas tree vine, yeah, I'm gonna cut a couple pieces off because I feel like my candles need to be embellished just a bit, cause why not? Cause we can. So I'm gonna glue two of them together just like so. And Dollar Tree's got some really great berry picks. That would be the perfect addition to this, taking it from just being a candle holder to something Christmas festive and fun. These tapered candle holders are new at Dollar Tree. They are a fun piece that I knew I could flip. So since I had this can of white spray paint, why not use it for these and save myself some time? Gave these a good quick coating of this. To these, again, I'm gonna go in with some of that homemade Mod Podge and I'm gonna give the base and the top of these a good coating of Mod Podge. Now, I'm not going in with the glitter. One DIY with glitter is enough for me because Dollar Tree has this faux snow. Yes, it's everything. I love this. And I feel like this has such a Christmas wintery feel to it. So why not add it to the base and the top of each of these candles? Candle holders, that is. Oh, that's so pretty. But why didn't I do the center? Because I'm gonna go in with, yes, it's garland. That's what it was, the Christmas tree garland and some berry garland. I'm gonna wrap the center of this candlestick holder with it, adding that Christmas feel to this. And I'm gonna top this off with one of my twine bows. Because why not? Because I can. LED taper candles. Yes, please. I picked up three of them because I'm doing a set of three candles. These taper candles are powered by a double A battery. There at the base, you just twist it. It's easy to use. Since these are LED, I am safe to decorate the outside of it. So I'm gonna go in with some of my homemade Mod Podge. And I am. I'm gonna add more of the faux snow. If you wanna add glitter to these, just to mix up the textures a bit, you can but I really just love that wintery snow look. And so whatever I can add this faux snow to, I think I might just do that. So easy and so pretty. And since I had a bunch of this berry garland left, I figured why not wrap the candle in it? It's a decorative candle. 
Now these LED candles, they were not a perfect fit for these holders. They were a bit too small and so they didn't fit inside of them. They just kind of fell over. So I thought to myself, self, what can I do to keep these standing up in there? When I thought, hey, I've got some of that Crayola air dry clay that you can find at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut a piece just like so. And when I place the candle in there, it's gonna hold it in there nicely. And I can still remove the candle if I need to easy fix such a quick easy budget friendly centerpiece that really packs a punch screams christmas we're gonna switch gears again let's go to fall and harvest this again is a versatile diy using these shadow boxes by art minds that you can get at michael's for 99 cents on the back of them they've got these sawtooth hangers that we don't need and so these I like to remove and I've got a Ziploc baggie full of these that I keep in my stash because they're great for those DIY decorative collectible wall tiles that I like to make. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove those and the twine to the sides here. I wanted to connect to three of them. So using some of that wood glue by super glue, I'm going to place just a bit of glue just like so and connect three of these wood shadow boxes. Since I've got that Waverly antique wax out, I'm gonna go ahead and give these here shadow boxes a good coating of this as well. For this DIY, you're gonna need three mason jars. Who doesn't love a good mason jar DIY? To these mason jars, I'm gonna be using a multi-surface acrylic paint because that is what sticks best to glass. Have you ever noticed when you paint a mason jar or any glass with regular acrylic paint, after that first coat, it tends to come up. Well, if you use a multi-surface paint, it will not happen. You will be good to go and you will be able to get several coats on your glass giving you the coverage that you want. I thought I'd do the jars three different colors. So the lighter brown is classic caramel. And if I didn't say the dark brown is my new favorite color, chocolate sprinkles. And for this last jar, well, you guessed it. I'm gonna go in with some of the cashew. I wanted each of the jars to be a different color, but I wanted them to coordinate with the base. We've got to rustic these jars up a bit, right? So to do that, I'm gonna wrap the neck with some twine and I'm gonna make it thick. Into the center jar, I decided to go in with some of Dollar Tree's wood beads and I strung them on that fun double colored twine. I love that stuff. And I'm gonna add one of the DIY wood ornaments, but I'm not gonna paint it or stain it because I feel like it's gonna go well with the beads. And I gotta finish this one off with a twine bow. I love this new twine. If you see it at Dollar Tree, pick some up. And oh my word, look at how gorgeous this is. That base really is just for looks, but I feel like it adds so much to the DIY. To these jars, I am gonna go in with some of those fun fall floral picks that Dollar Tree had in these amazing colors. And I thought just adding a touch of blue to this because this blue is everything when it comes to fall this year would be the perfect finishing touch to these mason jar flower holders, fall flower holders. And really this could be a versatile, I guess centerpiece if you wanted to leave that maple leaf off and you can use it for just about any season or holiday as well. This next DIY, so quick and easy. If you've got a Cricut, you can use a Cricut and if you don't, you can use stickers or the rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. Since I've got a Cricut, I went ahead and cut out some words using my vinyl and the words that I cut out were happy fall y'all and i'm gonna put one word on each candle giving me a set of three so easy so budget friendly then i'm gonna dive in to some of those extra flower leaves that i had left over and i'm gonna just top this off with some twine and some of those floral leaves from dollar tree and just like that it doesn't get any easier than this Now for this last DIY, yep, this is where I show you the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and the Stiff Paintbrush with this orange pumpkin that I was highlighting the ribs just to give it the dimension. And with this pumpkin, oh my goodness, this DIY doesn't get any quicker and easier and what a fun piece this is. 
This here is a rustic wood charger that you can find at none other than the Dollar Tree. So when you see these, pick them up. What is a charger? A charger is a decorative plate that you would use in place of a placemat that you would place your dinner plate on top of. To the bottom of this, well, I'm gonna take that orange pumpkin. I'm gonna hit it with some hot glue. If you wanna use a different glue, you totally can, but for video purposes and to keep this moving, I'm using hot glue and I'll fix it later if it comes apart. But I'm gonna go ahead and place this right smack in the center. And when I flip this over, guess what I have? I have a plate that I can put danishes on or that I can put cookies on. I can put a cheese platter on. Oh my word, how fun is that? Easy to do and it is such a statement piece. I used it for Allie's Halloween cookies, because why not? Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Sheila, who's bringing to us her recreation of my Jenga blocks, pumpkins. Sheila, I am loving the addition of the white birch stems on the top. Thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you want to DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. I say the next time you're in Dollar Tree, pick up a few of these items and do these DIYs with me and bring that holiday feel into your home too. I hope you all enjoy today's five centerpiece DIYs. If you're looking for more inspiration, DIY inspiration that is, Make sure to click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my oldie but favorite DIYs. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive please, because I'm trying. Bye for now everybody. <laughs>